Hi lovelies, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful holiday. I got this new to bullet for my Christmas gift and I'm about to unbox it and of course try it out to see how it works. So it has these books that have recipes for drinks or juices. So this one I figured was in French, could not read a word. So yeah, I'm just looking through it. And then I realized it was French. So I grabbed the English version. And it's pretty interesting, I must say it has a lot of uh, juices and they're quite simple uh, the ingredients are what we usually have for fruits or vegetables around the house so of course you can experiment with whatever you have in your fridge carrot pineapple oranges strawberries whatever it is and of course we know some fruits are seasonal So let's see what's in this box. So first up we have the juice pitcher and this is the aqua machine. Well I'll say it's almost assembled except for the fact that the juice pitcher isn't attached to it. So let's take a look at this. Listen, I shall be experimenting juicing juices for a long while. This is quite lovely. I love it. It's it is an average size the juicer is the pitcher is a 27 ounce and this is the food pusher i'll just push in there to extract the juice and this is the cover this is the sieve that will you know help to extract the juice and that's the cover it's locked spout open and then you'll just uh, put the juice pitcher under that close it while you extract the juice and yep that's the lid of the juice pitcher and it's quite nice so I'm going to be experimenting right now So I'm just checking out just the basic um, details of how to use the Nutribullet, what to do, what not to do. I just want to get a basic overview of how it operates, you know, so that we don't mash it up in a couple of days or after a couple of uses. So yeah, but it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. Once you attach everything, you know, you just put your juice in the in the steel sieve. And once you put the food pusher in it, then yeah, it's quite simple. Washing is pretty easy. It comes with a cleaning brush that I can use to clean, especially the sieve. So yeah. So before I start any experiment, I'm going to wash the juicer. Of course, you know, we have to wash it first before we put anything in it. So I'm just washing it.
So first experiment I'm going to do is with carrots and beetroot and ginger. So of course, you know, wash your carrot because you know things have to clean. So once I wash the carrots, then you know I'll wash the beetroot and the ginger. So now the moment we've all been waiting for, I'm going to just plug this in and get it started. So we can experiment with our carrot, beetroot and ginger. Let's go. So this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's do this. So I put the first carrot in the juicer and I used the food pusher to push the carrot down. But at the end of it, it gave this very loud cracking sound. And yeah, it was, I didn't like the sound of it. It just made a loud cracking sound like something mush up in it. So I realized that the end of the carrots were too thick which, which is what gave it the cracking sound so I just split the end so I just cut the carrot in two split the end and then I just went on with it and then I realized that I didn't have that cracking sound at the end of it anymore so I just split the carrot in two and made the piece in pretty smoother After a few carrots, the basin was full, so I had to empty the basin and then, you know, just start the process all over again. It's pretty easy to use. Everything just goes smooth and then, bam, juice almost ready.
So here's the end product, carrot, beetroot, and ginger.